Right. A new podcast is looking into the influence of black Appalachian music as well. Yeah, here's more on the unique story behind these incredible sounds. I love you, baby, cause your eyes are brown. Well, I am James Sparky Rucker. I am a folk singer, storyteller, historian from Knoxville, Tennessee. You, baby, said cause I've been doing American folk music for about 52 years now in terms of it being my profession. The music that comes from the African American tradition and the Southern Appalachian tradition is some of the true American music. You know, the other things people you know import it from from other countries and it's exactly this way. The music that comes out of uh, the black uh, performers, uh, the, the black musicians and the, and the Southern Appalachian musicians is American music. It was created here in this country, not something that we brought in from some other place, but it was a blending of African and Native and Scott and Scott Irish and Irish music. And it's truly beautiful, unique music. American culture music began on slave ships because they were forced to kind of communicate, forced to combine languages, religions, and cultures. And from there, once they were dispersed throughout the America, throughout what's now the United States, is when we start to see different things develop and evolve. The the music that came out of Southern Appalachia did develop and grow into what is called either bluegrass or country music. With blues and jazz, at one point the fiddle uh, was incorporated uh, with those genres, but because that seemed like something that was too quote unquote hillbilly, um, it was taken out. Um, so you start to see a lot of eliminations um, as well. Incredible heritage there. By the way, the African American Experience Project is looking to capture the stories of black people in Appalachia. The park says they plan uh, to do this by hosting several community events to capture those stories and to hear more from the community.